John Ween, attorney and legal instructor for Blue to Gold Law Enforcement Training, coming to you today with another roadside chat. Today's question comes from an officer in Alabama, and the question is this. Officers are called to a residence for a welfare check after neighbors smelled a foul odor coming from the residence. The name of the resident was also given. Officers arrived and located the person in question as he was leaving. He was asked about the odor and stated he did not smell anything and seemed to want to leave and eventually did leave. Officers walked around the residence once the person left and did in fact smell a foul odor. Since the person in question was alive and well, could officers still have entered the residence just to make a protective sweep for a body, animal, or other source of the smell? Interesting question. Now, basically, because we're going to be talking about entering a residence, and it sounds like officers already entered the curtilage, right, that area immediately surrounding the residence that is so closely related to the home that a court is going to say it's associated with those intimate activities of domestic life. So we're going to need consent, we're going to need a recognized exception, or we're going to need a warrant either to enter onto those, that red area, right, that, that curtilage on the sides or in the back of the house, that area that's off the direct point of the direct path to the main point of access to either enter that curtilage area or to enter the residence. We're going to need consent, we're going to need a recognized exception, or we're going to need a warrant. We don't have consent, we don't have a warrant. So the question is, do we have a recognized exception? Well, it's not going to be community caretaking because 2021 case Coniglia versus Strom said that community caretaking does not apply to residences. So it's going to have to be the emergency aid exception if it's anything, right? And the emergency aid exception Brigham City versus Stewart, Michigan versus Fisher, both of those are United States Supreme Court cases. They say that an officer has an objectively reasonable belief that an emergency demands immediate assistance in order to protect or preserve life or to prevent serious injury, then officers are justified in entering those constitutionally protected areas. Based on the facts as you are providing, I don't believe that there is an, is an objectively reasonable belief to meet to believe immediate assistance is necessary, right? You are reporting a foul odor. Do you as a law enforcement officer, can you tell me definitively that that's the smell of a dead body or not? I would say that you can't because you are only referring to a foul odor. In, ad in, in addition, the officers, as they report it, said they did not smell the foul odor until they walked around the residence. And so, if you're implicating the Fourth Amendment, you have to have that basis before you conduct that search, right? That entry into a constitutionally protected area. I think in this case, your best bet would be to contact the neighbors, um, ad advise if they know anyone else who lives inside the residence, gain what information you can from them, see if you can smell the foul odor coming from their house, and then, based on him saying he did not smell anything and his nervous behavior, articulate how that's suspicious, and apply for a search warrant. I think that's your best course of action. Unless you can sit there and you can articulate that you objectively, reasonably believe that there is a situation that demands immediate assistance in order to protect or preserve life or to prevent serious injury, then I don't think you have the recognized exception of emergency aid. And your best course of action is going to be submitted to that unbiased third party, get your permission slip, get your warrant, and go in and check. That's your best course of action. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. If you have any questions for us, bluetogold.com slash show, bluetogold.com slash show. Submit your questions. We'll make a video. We'll do what we can to help make sure you get it right every time. Until next time, I'm John Ween. Take care. Be safe. We'll see you soon.